Hi guys, it's Erin. You're probably desperate for some actual content right now, but um, this is one of my biggest buying seasons and, you know, with Black Friday and then Christmas coming and all of that, even when I don't buy presents, I end up taking advantage of all the sales for the people that do buy presents because I'm not a winter holiday type person. So I just kind of take advantage of all the other stuff and I like winter. I'm a big fan of winter, which you'll see in the stamps that I have here. So. I've got three purchases here. We're going to put these to the side because they're a bit longer of an explanation. Um, so this is from Marker Pop and this is from CC Designs. They both had sales on um, Black Friday, so I took advantage of those. And for CC Designs, I bought the new releases that they had from Roberto's Rascals. Um, I absolutely love these stamps. You probably have seen a lot of them this year. So I especially love the cat. The cat is like the best thing because he's always grumpy. So this is, um, this is Sleigh Ride Twyla, and this is just Happy Twyla. I love her hair. She's, like, got little tiny pigtails. It's so cute. This is the Winter Cottage, because, yeah, I don't know what it is. I mean, it helps now that I live here in Big Bear. Well, now, I've been here for ten years, but uh, it, it helps that I live here in Big Bear, and we actually get snow, and I live in a house that, well, it actually does kind of look like this. I, I live in a, a literal cabin. There's only one bedroom, and for actual rooms. It's a cabin. So, um, it, it helps me actually enjoy the season and, you know, I'd like to break out the winter stamps and keep going with them as long as we get snow. And sometimes we get snow in May and June. We got June snow once before there was gigantic drought in California. But, um, so yeah, I, I have a lot of winter stamps, even if they're not specifically Christmas, because I do still have a soft spot for Christmas stamps, even though I don't really celebrate the holiday. But mostly it's winter stuff. And even if you're wearing one of those hats with a pom-pom like this, or like this, I love this bird. How, how cute is this bird? You can't really see him great, but he's closer that way. Or you can go down here and see him perfectly. Um, even if you're wearing outfits like this, where it's got the little pom-pom on it, I don't have to color him red. I don't have to color that red, and I can do it green, and it'll still look like a winter stamp. And that's what I love about this kind of stuff, is I can just change it and make it celebrate winter, because winter is my favorite. I love the snow, and we've been in snow for 10 years now, but before that, um, I lived in Northern California, and in Northern California, winter means rain. So you're still having to wear warmy stuff, but not warmy, foamy stuff, or not, like, fuzzy stuff. You can't really wear fuzzy stuff, because then I'll not, that'll get all wet, and it'll be kind of gross. So, <laughs> but you still kind of have to bundle up, so that's, you know. Um... So this one's from Marker Pop. I, I hope you were able to like read all that while I babbled. I'm, I'm, I, I kind of suck at these right now. <laughs> I swear I will give you real content. I swear. I will actually make something. I have some stuff to show you right now because I'm actually making other things that I can't film and that's why. But here, I'll do this first. Uh, these are the new markers for uh, the distress markers. You know, he did the whole, Tim Holtz did the whole... Um, 12 new colors, you get one a month. Well, I haven't been able to buy them one a month, even though he said, hey, you should buy one a month, because it's either that way. It's not for me. I like to make big purchases, and that way I don't have to pay for shipping. So, <laughs> um, so I ended up just picking up the markers, and I have one of those X cubes, which I will take a photo of, because they're, they're actually like, I was going to just bring it into the camera, but it's, it's like, it's stuck. They're, they're actually connected, the ones that I, that I have, <laughs> so I can't just like, yank it over here. But yeah, I, I, I bought one of those little X cubes to store them in. And uh, so this is the new carved pumpkin. And I didn't get a chance to like make swatches yet. I might actually make swatches just because swatches are fun. And you'll see on my the other thing, the swatches that I've done. Uh, this one is Twisted Citron. This one is Lucky Clover. This one is Blueprint Sketch. And purple, always my favorite. This one is Wilted Violet. And um, I, I already had two of the newer ones this year. The, the first two, I was able to get them. Yeah, like this one is Cracked crack Pistachio. And I have the other one. I don't have the mermaid one, but I have the, the pinkish one, whatever that one was. I was able to get those at the Stamp Expo uh, at the beginning of this year in March, but I haven't been able to go to the Stamp Expo since. So I haven't been able to pick them up from uh, Stampers Anonymous itself. So I'm, I just made sure to get those, and then if I have to get the other ones somewhere else, I'll, I'll try and do that. Um, this set is from Mama Elephant. I don't really own a lot of Mama Elephant, but, I mean, this set, like, was made for me. 
It's a, it's a Lunar New Year set called Lunar Animals, but I don't really care about Lunar New Year. I mean, I, I, it's not something I celebrate because, you know, whatever. <laughs> it's not that I don't care. It's the, the, the point is that I like animals, and that's why I got it. I didn't get it to, you know, be all like, hey, I'm from the year of the boar, which I am, 1983. Um, but, I mean, I, I bought it because look at all the cute little farm animals and the mouse and the bunny and the freaking dragon. How, how cute is the dragon? And, um, excuse my shaking, it's because of the meds. <laughs> Albuterol is a hell of a drug. Um, so yeah, I'm like shaking this on camera. It's it's not you seeing things weird, it's me. Um, so yeah, I, I just, you know, okay, it's celebrating New, Lunar New Year and I might make projects, but I, ha I, got, I had to get it because of animals. Animals are awesome. And it's the same reason that I got this, even though, like I said, I don't really celebrate a whole lot of winter holiday, but, I mean, reindeer. Reindeer are awesome. Reindeer are totally cool, so, you know, they can still celebrate winter and whatever, and I can just not include the candy canes or the little bells or whatever. Or I could, if I want to, you know, make a thing for somebody. But I, I've been seeing this set all over the place, and I just had to get these little reindeer because they're awesome. And I do like that they include, um, they include the animals going both ways, so you don't have to do mirror stamping, but then, like, the one has eyes open and the one has eyes closed. So it kind of makes it easier for you not having to do the mirror stamping, which it's not like it's hard, it's just kind of annoying sometimes. And so you get animals going both ways and they can be together and like these ones are dancing together, but they're just a little bit different. So it adds interest. And then lastly, I got the Snow Fairies from Penny Black. And um, it's just another one of those things that's not technically Christmas, it's winter. So I get to play with snow until at least February. It still snows in February, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> so those are my three new sets from... These were from Marker Pop, yes. And lastly, my actual winter holiday present. Well, one of them. Mike actually also got me a new, um, a new Google Nexus tablet because mine was like, blah. It went all wonky on me. And... <laughs> <coughs> Oh, excuse me. I'm going to try and cut that out if I can, but I probably can't. Um, anyway, Mike ended up getting me brand new watercolors. Now, this is the, um, well, I got uh, sable brushes as well. But I used this on something else, and that's why it's pink. It's supposed to be white sable, and it's not white anymore because I used it on something else. I did not use it on watercolors. I used it on, I think, acrylic. But anyway, <laughs> that's why it's pink. It didn't come out, but whatever. Pink, purple, it's good. Uh, these are brushes by Da Vinci. They are uh, natural sable for, it says, look, for detailed work, watercolor, gouache, calligraf calligraphy, and India ink painting. So, um, I got these to go with my new watercolor set, which is by um, Schmincke. I think that's how you say it, with a little accent on the end. If it's not, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm from California. You, you're just lucky I'm not a valley girl, right? <laughs> uh, this is the 48 set, and the box is a little battered. I, it, it's kind of sucky because I did. I, I bought these from Cheap Joe's, and these were $250 because they had a 20% off sale, which is kind of amazing since the literally the entire year from January, I've been looking at this set on Amazon, and it was $360, and they said, well, you know, maybe for Christmas, but, you know, eh, because it's really expensive, right? So we were just kind of saving for it, and I thought, eh. Um, but yeah, I was looking at this set this entire time, and then I get, I go on Cheap Joe's, and there, they have the entire set. So I've already used these, so that's why you see stuff in the pans. Um, I've used these to make a painting and not just to do this because it comes with a swatch sheet. How awesome is that? It comes with a very beautiful swatch sheet and you get to see all the names of the colors, the numbers, which are also on the bottom of the half pans. These are little half pans. They're not gonna wanna come out. Okay, there you go. Um, these are little half pans and it's got the number on it. It's really hard to see because if I go up really close here, oh, there you go, okay. You're not gonna have that much light, but you can see the number on the bottom of the pan and then you can see the number over here. See, it's four, 474. That's that one. So, and then they just sit in there like that. They have full pans, which are twice this size, but um, these are pretty full. I mean, they're they're full to the top. So you can see, once I get back up, 
you can see how big the pan is. They're completely full to the top. It's not like the Kuratake where it's just lightly pour, poured in the bottom and then that's why they've been cracking for me because it's really really dry here and paints just continue to dry. It's kind of like cement. It never, it, it just keeps drying and the drier your area is, I, I'm at 7,000 feet up here so it's really dry. We have no humidity. It's kind of like being in Phoenix except for instead of the atmosphere just being burnt off. We don't have any. So <laughs> Our oxygen is thinner. We have no um, humidity, nothing like that. So um, the paint's just really just cracked and, and you know, it, it's really hard for me to travel with them. I do, I did still, I'm not going to anymore. I did still travel with them, but it, it you know, they broke into little pieces because their pans are not completely full, so it's not really thick, and that's why, you know, the thin paint's just cracked. And so I had to, you know, kind of keep them flat and be careful with them. These... They're smaller pans, but they're completely full. And um, and like I said, this is the 48 color set. So you can see all the different colors there. And it, when I made this, it says on the back how to make the things, or how to make the, excuse me, how to make the samples. And so you just take a full loaded brush with color and then paint on this side and then clean it off and then put just water on this side and then gently push the, you know, dry off your brush and then gently push the color into the water and so you can see how it, um, how it spreads and pools and you get the whole range of color from completely concentrated to medium to very light. And that way you can see how the, uh, how the color, how the color works and how it'll come out on your painting. And the really cool thing about this set is that the colors actually also lift out and you have more mixing wells down here so there's a lot on here and so you're going to be traveling with that um, so you don't have to travel with an, a different um, uh, what do you call it with a different mixing palette thing and it's also got this little metal thing on the back so you can put your thumb through there and then actually hold it up like that and it'll sit you know on your hand I mean I'm right-handed so if I was if I was left-handed, it, it would probably go better because it would sit like that, but I'm not left-handed, so. <coughs> Excuse me. I did my meds, but apparently I'm still not great at talking this long. So, the only thing that I don't like about this is I kept it, I kept it in the order that it is on here, and um, that's great. But the problem is, um... I really want to organize this by color, like red, red, green, blue, or red, orange, yellow, green, blue. Um, I want to do that because I'm a big fan of rainbows, but it, it's, um, it's not organized like that on here. So I would have to make another new color chart and I'm not against that, but I'm kind of lazy right now and we're going to have to travel soon for the holiday. So, um, I might actually be traveling when you actually see this, but so I'm not going to do that right now, but I might end up doing that and reorganizing them. But until then, I, I just kept it the way it was. And what I wanted to show you was two things that I've actually created. Um, this one is weird. I know it's weird. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not actually sorry. But um, it's weird because I drew her hair first and then kind of put her face on there. And that wasn't the best idea. Because it made her eyes look really crazy because they're all covered up and I, I did the best I could. Most of this is colored with the Kuratake, especially the background. Um, actually, all of this is Kuratake. Um, yeah, all of this is Kuratake and uh, not watercolor. Um, polychromos. There we are. The polychromo pencils. Mm, these ones. You can't read that. Probably not. I'm sorry. But anyway, I have those. I have the 120 set. So um, that's that's what I do is I, I do the watercolor and then I finish up the details with the pencils because I think it looks cool and because one of the artists that I really like and she's the one that suggested these uh, the Schmenke set. I think hers is less because she's used to, um, she just recently told me that she's uh, she started in watercolor and she started with one of those 12 palettes and so she's really used to mixing colors and stuff like that and of course me starting with Copics and then just getting into watercolors I'm used to 386 colors uh, is that what we're up to 358 something like that I I'm used to that many colors or I'm used to 120 different um, pencil colors and I have two sets two different sets uh, you know manufacturers of 120 sets 
or 120 colors. So that's a lot of colors that I'm used to. So if I sit there with 12 colors and I'm like, okay, I have to mix everything. It's a really big learning curve for me and I'm still learning how to draw. I'm learning how to watercolor. I'm learning how to do all this stuff. So I'm kind of trying to set myself up for goodness, <laughs> for not completely sucking. So that's why I have expensive things, you know, because if you start with good quality products, then even if you suck, the products will make you look good. So I'm kind of cheating that way. And, um, so that, that was a long way to say, I know this is crap, but it'll get better, I swear. Um, oh man, see, the blue, the blue wiped off and got on her face. Oh well, you gotta be careful about that. Like when you, when you color over this, I, I put a, um, I put a piece of paper over so my hand doesn't brush on that. I mean, I'm sure if you're left-handed, you're probably used to that, like having to color your stuff other, or cover your stuff, otherwise you just smush over everything. But as a right-handed person, I'm not used to that, so I have to remember to always use a, uh, a, like a, I don't know what you call it, like a mask, I guess, so that I don't wreck things. But, um, I, I tried to color her face with the, uh, with the Kuratake paints, but I didn't, um, I did this at my parents' house, and I didn't have one of my mixing palettes, and so I, <laughs> I was just doing direct from the pan, and it wasn't working great, and her face was all blah, so I did end up fixing it with the, uh, the Schmincke set. And then this is what I actually did last night when the Schmincke set came, and I'm going to try and hold it so you can see it, but it's also in the light. Uh, I know she's not beautiful, but not everybody gets to be beautiful, so, you know, she, <laughs> she's okay. Yeah, she's, she's alright. I worked on her pretty well. I, I tried not to make her have too much of a man jaw. It didn't really work great, but, you know, like I said, I'm still learning. So, um, yeah. And I, I really liked the, um, I have it still mixed on here, and I think I'm just going to keep doing it. But, um, that's the, that's the skin color. It's mostly like that brown stuff, or it's mostly like that brown color, and then a little bit of, um, a little bit of pale in there and it came out this this really nice um sort of dark caucasian you know tanned caucasian i guess because i mean she's still obviously white but you know i i decided not to go with the crazy hair color i i kept thinking that oh i want it to be red or something like that but i, I really like the brown that i mixed up and then i just added more of the um like i said the polychromos on top of it to define more of the hair on there and so, yeah, that's, that's what I painted last night when they came, or when the, the paints came. And then these two, are, are, they're still in the sketch stage, but, so, they're really hard to see. Eh, there, you can probably see both of them now. <laughs> I hope. Um, they're still in the sketch stage. I do paint, or I do work directly on my watercolor pad, you can see. This is my watercolor pad here, if you want to know what watercolor I'm using. It's right here. Um... It's hot pressed, 140 pounds. I also have an Arches set, which is also hot pressed, but this one is smoother, and I do kind of like the smoother one. It doesn't have any tooth to it. <coughs> so yeah, I'm still working on these. Oh, and um, the girl that recommended these paints, and that I'm kind of taking inspiration from her name on um, pretty much everything is Iraville, and she's from Germany, I believe. I'm not quite sure, but her accent, and she speaks German, so I know that. Um, <laughs> I know that. But anyway, I'll have a link. To, uh, I'll put a link to her stuff because she's she's awesome, and she's way better than me. So, um, But yeah, she's kind of like my inspiration among other bunches of people. There's like a ton. I basically, you know, get inspiration from anybody that does anything with art supplies. So uh, this is a really long way to show all of my things, but um, but yeah. And I know I've been doing a lot of hauls and stuff, and especially, like, you know, these are super expensive watercolors, and I get that. But um, one of the things that I really like about Mike is he totally understands that it's really depressing to spend, you know, $450 a month on medication. So he kind of doesn't blink an eye when I want art supplies because, you know, I'm not saying I spend $450 a month on art supplies, but when I do spend, you know, a good amount on, on art supplies, it's a lot less depressing, you know? <laughs> It really sucks to have CF and have to, you know, just shell out all this crap just to be able to breathe. So, it, you know, at least when I get to spend, you know, a ridiculous amount of money, it's something nice and fun that I can use. And, you know, he always says, as long as it makes you happy, I don't really care. So, that's why I'm spoiled. I'm aware that I am spoiled. But at least I try and make things. So, anyway, I will shut up now. 
and I will try and have videos that actually show you things very soon. But I'm also taking a bit of a winter holiday break, so I'll do what I can. Okay? Alright, bye.